Welcome back, folks. For this video, we'll cover the patch notes for 9.21, the year's end holiday patch. Now, disappointingly, it's not as grandiose as last year's patch with the Swedish vehicles. So no influx of 19 new vehicles or the HD maps conversion or the Polish vehicles or the holiday ornament system that we had last year. Nothing came out of that. So for this year, we're getting three heavy tanks for the French and the replacement for the FE 25B 1A3 and a new map for Grand Battle Mode for Tier 10s and that's pretty much it. So three new vehicles, one switch, one new map for Tier 10s. Wonderful. <laughs> so basically the Poodle is the cash grab, obviously. Where's the Polish vehicles? Lies, the seats. So here is the new map called Klondike. So like the bar, but it is basically American Northwest. So you get to play with a snowy map, 1.4 kilometer by 1.4 kilometer, like the castle map, but it's snowy. Also, it kind of reminds me of the old Northwest map with the plateau in the middle, but this map doesn't have the plateau, doesn't have the railway at the north. So basically camp fest, like the normal grand battle mode. But what happened to front lines? What happened to defend Normandy with the gigantic cannons or stuff? Nothing came out of it. <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, it still represents a very key aspect of tank development. And that is if you have view range, if you have camo, you're basically OP. So these game modes are not meant for super heavy tanks without cover. <laughs> so you get sniped at from across the map and there's no cover. As you can see on the maps, that's Death Valley. If you have a view range, if you have the camo, that's Death Valley. High explosive anti-tank shells, you'll get pierced. Oh God. So play medium tanks, play light tanks with view range. <laughs> Uh, quagmire and tank destroyers mostly but here are some map changes so no more mountain goading on the following maps so no more boosting all right and here are the HD reworks 15 vehicles what's also surprising is this is technically the last HD rework hooray celebration so the last vehicle that hasn't been converted into HD is the AMX 40 and the uh, Type 98 Kini Otsu, but that's only for press accounts, that doesn't count. So the last vehicle is AMX 40 without HD remodel. Uh oh, but yeah, disappointingly, the Duck is surprisingly the last vehicle to be converted into HD. There are talks of a bonus camo or something, like a yellow camo for this vehicle, for a joke. For the last HD rework, but I don't know. Russian forums, funny stuff, I guess. So here are some vehicle rebalance. AT2 will have reduced armor. No specifics, but yeah. I mean, 200 millimeters was it? Was pretty good at tier five, but basically everybody just shoots at the cupola or shoots at the gun mantlet. You'll penetrate the gun mantlet, but all right. <laughs> AT8 has increased armor, surprisingly, all right? So still pretty much shoot the cupola and you'll pin, but hey, AT7, improved armor, shoot the cupola again. And this little bulge right here, but hey. But for the, uh, the box Churchill gun carrier, they buffed the 32 pounder. So they buffed the penetration, buffed the damage, but nerf the reload time for all those vehicles with the 32 pounder, the AT gun 32 pounder, not the Carnarvon, that's different, I guess. But they buffed the damage, they buffed the penetration, nerfed the reload time to balance out the DPM, but same goes for the AT-15, so buff the penetration, buff the damage, nerf the reload time, yada yada, 
Same goes for the tortoise with the 32 pounder, so yada yada, but you mostly use the L11A1, right? The 100 L11. L1A1. You wish that was L11A1. <laughs> so the FE215B1A3 gets replaced with the FE217, the badger, but there is only one HD picture of the badger, and that is on the Klondike map with the red house in the back, but they said that they increased the frontal armor of this thing, improved the mobility a little bit, increased the alpha, decreased the reload time. So originally it was 3,700 DPM or something with 420 alpha, but I will try to do the leak video for this vehicle, but they are constantly changing the stats of this thing. So yeah, it's currently still being tested, but it is based off of the Conqueror chassis and currently before the change to the stats the lower plate is the same as the Conqueror so basically like the Super Conqueror shoot the lower plate you'll pin <laughs> but this thing has a lot of DPM not as much well maybe not as much as the STRV 103 but a 3700 without a rammer that's a lot so yeah, every 6 seconds, 420 alpha. That's a lot. So for the VK4502P OSB, increased suspensions, low capacity, doesn't mean much. It's the upgraded tracks, not the stock one, so you cannot bypass the tracks for the gun. So you still have to research the tracks, then the turret, then the gun. So, bleh. Type 61 has HD model, but on the gun depression for the rear, it got nerfed from 5 degrees to 3 degrees. So, yeah, no gun depression at the back. Same goes for the 90mm. So be aware, but the main problem with the Type 61 is you don't have that much shell. Like 20 rounds, 30 rounds. Not, yeah, it spams a lot. It's very quick to reload and shoot, but you quickly run out of shells. Whereas the Type 74, the STB has a lot more rounds, like 40 rounds or something, but hey, that's the problem with this tier 9, but alright. So finally, we get the second line of French heavy tanks with conventional turrets. So the revival of the AMX 65T, the AMX M4s, model 1951, 54, but disappointingly, in my honest opinion, there are basically M4s <laughs> at tier 9 and tier 10, but there's no AMX 70T or the SEAM 220 tons. So nothing crazy, but yeah. So we already talked about the AMX 65T. They changed some of the stats, but not much. But I still think this would be a pretty good premium tank at tier 8 with the Liberté as the normal tank like a normal M4s all the way from tier 7 to tier 10 but why the flipperoo? I don't know, whatever. Here is the AMX M4 model 1951. Take a good look because it's practically the same to tier 10. <laughs> practically. The only difference I notice is the spare track links on the cheeks of the hull and the cable. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much what I noticed. And the bow machine gun port, the little boob, but that's that's pretty much it, so... <laughs> I mean, also, this is not the top gun. The top gun is 130mm without a muzzle brake, so this is the 120 So, technicalities, but yeah. I'll cover these vehicles soon, but they're also being changed around, so everything is not consistent. I'll talk about it soon. But they are rebalancing the Smua SM on the Supertest server. Planning for you to buy, obviously for the new French heavy tanks. But this is basically another competitor to the AMX 5100, to the Lorraine 40T, to the, you know, whatever. So based off of the same share components and the 100mm and the auto-loading system, yada yada, we already talked about it. It's been a year too. Alright. So they have 
rebalanced and HD modelized the off clearance panther. So the awful panther, it is coming back as a premium tier 8 for all your monies. What's funny is that they could have given you this tank for free if you already have the Spie Panzer 1C or the RU251 back then, but nope, you are going to buy this thing with actual money. So it's not like the current switch with the Fosh 155 with the FE25B where you keep the vehicle. For tier 8s, you don't keep them, <laughs> they take it back. They HD modelize the vehicle and sell it back to you like Lorraine 40T and you'll buy that shit up because I don't know <laughs> you're supposed to be pissed you're supposed to be pissed that they already took away this vehicle and just sell it back to you for money it would be so funny if they actually HD modelize that's not a term the T50-2 and sell it as a premium tier 6 originally it's a tier 5 but with a new matchmaking it should be tier 6 but still yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be surprised if that day comes, <laughs> with the T fifty two comes back. But oh well, Carnarvon AX on the Super Test server, basically the old Carnarvon, actually the second old Carnarvon with the Action X turret, but they put applicant armor on the cheeks, similar to the Conqueror, and they're going to sell it as a premium tier eight because Nostalgia? Well, Nostalgia is the original Centurion Mark III turret. Not the current version, but they... <laughs> that only lasted a year, I think, for the Action X Carnarvon. Without the... Well, not this version, but the original Carnarvon. Not the original Carnarvon, but the intermediate Carnarvon. But that only lasted a year, right? I don't know, but still. High tier British heavy tank trainer. There you go. <laughs> Wonderful. And here is what I actually am excited about. ELC EVEN. So it's a two man crewed light tank with autoloader, but it looks funky. It looks surprisingly small compared to the cars. It's only two men crew. So if you get high explosive and those two crew members die, the whole tank is knocked out. Alright, fine, but it should have a 75mm or a 90mm. I think it's a 75, but it's going to be a premium tier 8. So there will be a slew of tier 8 light tanks as premiums. But yeah, pretty interesting to see this vehicle. At least it's different. At least. So good news, everyone. The object for Dirty U will not be coming out this patch, so you have a little bit more time to grind for the object 416 before they replaced it with the object 430 version number 2 from tier 9. So you have some little bit more time to prepare yourself for the replacement to get uh, legacy vehicles, rare legacy vehicles like the Fosh 155. So good news. All you have to worry about right now is the 1A3 replacing with the Badger. So, all right. Also goes for the Object 268 version number four. It's not coming out. Also, people are complaining about the stats. It sucks ass. So basically, like a Russian version of a 113 GFT. It's a assault gun with crappy accuracy, crappy DPM. But hey, it has a lot of armor. So you drive this thing super aggressively and it has only 100 less health than the Yak Panzer E100 because whatever <laughs> doesn't need to make sense oh my god so yeah you still have a little bit more time to grind the SU100M1 if you can because that's getting replaced but we'll talk about this in the future so for now good news it's not coming out or bad news I don't know it's not being switched yet so 9.21 common test server should be online around November 16th, so a week from now. But usually it's on a Thursday, Thursday night, usually. But I'll data mine all the new stuff like the ELC EVN, the off clearance Panther, also the Action X, Carnarvon, and the other stuff. So we'll see. But 
Videos about the Badger and the new French heavy tanks will be up soon because I've been lazy and their stats have been constantly changing. There are no actual reveal of the actual stats for the Badger, so I'll guess, but it's difficult to say because it all depends on the armor, the lower plate mostly, because currently it's the Conqueror's lower plate and it sucks, so we'll see, but might as well play the E3, the T110 E3 while you're at it, right? But I've been swamped with the Black Marathon on the North America server. So currently we have the Schwartz Panzer 58, the Black T-34s and IS-6s. And we have marathons for all of them. It's taking a lot of time. And holy crap, there's a lot of gold shells. <laughs> Everybody wants to win. Just fire gold shell. Oh my god. Only 7 wins and Jesus Christ, it took me like 3 hours. <sighs> so it's, yeah, it's a curse of having good events, I guess, but I have a lot of stuff to do. So there you go, folks. I'll post the link to the actual patch notes, like the whole wall of text patch notes, in the description below. So you can go and chew on that cardboard, but... Yeah, this is basically an illustrated patch notes video, I guess. So, a little bit better to digest, if you will. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.